So today the we have these tires. So Galileo Wheel reached out and wanted us to try some of their, their pivot tires. These are their cup wheel. It says Galileo cup wheel right there. These are their irrigation wheels. So these, I think they're called Ira cup wheels. So it is, it's an airless tire. And you can see the sidewall looks a little different than normal. So these are our airless tire and it comes with a rim, special rim and, and oh, uh, yeah. we have to flip these over to get them for our pivot because it's made to go on any pivot. So huh. some styles of pivots, you have to have the center cap one way and sometimes you have to have it the other way to offset it one way or the other. But we are gonna unbox these and we'll we'll show you how to flip those those caps over and then we'll go install them later today so they're a little bit wider than a normal or i guess they're not wider but they're because they're flat because they're airless they have a flat tread pattern they have more surface area on the ground so you don't tend to get you're not supposed to get those big ruts so we're gonna get one of these down and we'll show you how to uh, swap these center caps. And uh, yeah, we'll show you. We'll show you these tires. The flat tires we've already done this year. Yeah, yeah, we've already changed a whole bunch of flat tires. I think we've had six or seven flat tires, and these are airless, so they never go flat. So they say once you put them on, you never have to worry about them again. They've had some running on pivots for quite a few years and they've never had any problems with them. So we'll get these off and get them flipped, get the center caps flipped over and then we'll go put them out on the pivot. There's one. So we just got this one down. You can see that there's this center cap. It's only bolted on every other one. So some pivots, the gear where the gearboxes sit, you want this right in the middle. But ours, ours are offset. So if we flip this cap over, it offsets the rim. So instead of having your bolts right in the middle, it puts the bolts off to this side, and that way it doesn't rub on the pivot. Because if we bolted it to our pivots like this, this tire would probably rub on the side of the pivot frame. So we just have to take out those six bolts, take this off flip it to these other holes that are offset and put it back on. So a few things about these, they're self-cleaning and because they have this big cup on the side, when they're running on a normal tire, you have the bulge where your, your air is and you get these big humps in the, in the pivot track on the side. But these, when they go through, instead of pushing that mud out and getting a big hump, the mud just kind of goes right here and you don't have, you have a flatter track in the field versus having a big mound of dirt that the pivot tire keeps pushing out. So, and they're, they are a little bit wider here because they don't curve like an air tire. And then you have 30% more surface area on the ground with this versus a normal tire because, and, and because of that, it makes it act more like a track. So they make, they make tracks for pivots and this acts like a track because you just have so much more surface area. Because when you get it in the ground, this will squish down and you'll have quite a footprint on the ground. So, yeah, they look like they'll be a pretty sweet tire. So we have these down now. So this one we have flipped. We're working on these other three. So for our, pivot, for our pivots, you take these six bolts out and you flip it around. So it looks like that and that that way puts the the center, the hub, right in the center. But doing it this way offsets it about two inches. So for different pivots, you're gonna have to flip this around or not. Once you do it once, then you're good. But yeah, we're in the process of flipping these over. You just take, take these six bolts out and flip it around. So it looks like that. Just don't let that hub fall on you. Just... 
Pop it out, flip it around. You can see it over there better for the first time. There you go. And you just line it back up, stick all the bolts back in. And then you're set up for all of our pivots. We run Ranky pivots and Zomatic pivots and all of our tires have this offset. So we just have to flip all these over. Not too hard. We have one more left to do and then we'll go out to the field and we'll put them on the pivot. All the pallet, all the uh, tires on the pallet. So we're just going to take them out with this, and then use this to lift the pivot while we kind of wheel it in and line it up. So we're going to take it out. We have one pivot that has two towers that usually get stuck. So we're going to put these on because these tires are not supposed to get stuck. So we're going to go put these on. We'll drive out there and show you the whole process. Pivot that constantly has a couple towers that always get stuck. I'm going to apologize in advance for all the wind, but there's a tower, it's the third one, and then this end one. They get stuck when they have to come up this hill. And I know it doesn't look like much of a hill on the camera, but you can see the hills right there. But they get stuck as they go around, so we're going to start with this end one. And he's on his way. There's Trevor, and then there's him with the tires, so we'll start taking these apart. Just trying to get underneath the edge of it to lift it up. You can't just lift right underneath because there's actually a drive shaft on this side, right here. Just trying to line up the bolt holes. Huh? I think we need to rotate the rim a little bit. Yeah, which way? This is towards me. I mean, either either way. Yeah, just a little bit more. Had to put the camera down for a minute, so I could rotate the tire. All right, there. now I'm picking up. Got it threaded on. And the reason we flipped that hub is because if you look at this side, see that drive line? How close is to that tire? If we wouldn't have flipped that hub, it would be rubbing it on that drive line. So that's why we have to flip those, flip these hubs for our pivots. We're just getting the other side lifted up now to do this one. Trevor's getting this one cinched up. Once we get this one on, we'll move down to the third tower from the center and then we'll put the put these two down there. So that's how it looks when it's all mounted up. It's good, it's offset, so we're not hitting here because we would have hit right here. It's only about two inches. But just looking at the width of that track compared to our old track, you can see our old track's grooves 
this thing's going to do a much better job. So the hardest part that we've found is having to rotate this tire to get those bolts holes to line up. It is a heavy tire and trying to rotate it on dirt is the most difficult part about attaching these to the pivot. Aside from that, it's not much harder than putting on a normal tire. That's the only challenging part, but we're getting it. Okay, we are now at the second tower from the center. We, I thought we were gonna do the third, but it's this one and that, the second and third get stuck a little bit. So we're gonna put them on the second tower. So we'll get them rolled up here. I'm actually gonna set it up and do a time lapse. Since you already showed you how we changed them on the last one, I'll do a time lapse of uh, putting them on this one. that we found to roll these that actually work the best is just a bar we have just a bar here and we stuck it off centered we stuck it past so it couldn't roll this way as we moved it we stuck that in somebody grab here and roll and you can roll that tire you just have to have something to hold it from rolling as you lift so that was our solution it actually works pretty good so if you need to roll them to put the nuts in, the nut, uh, get the bolts to line, lug, lug nuts to line up, get yourself a bar, stick it in there, roll it along. We got these on, we're gonna load up the other ones on this pallet and just take them in. And uh, yeah, got them on. It's not, not too big a deal, get them on. You could do it with just a couple people. Granted, we just have a lot of help today. Uh, these wheels and tires, Galileo Era Cup, they are not supposed to wear out. They're not, they, they can't go flat because they don't have air. And you can see they're flat. The profile is flat versus curved right here. And they act like, they're supposed to act like a track so they don't really get stuck. So that's kind of what we're hoping for because this pivot tends to get stuck on these couple of towers. So we're hoping to see if... Uh, See if we can't uh, keep this from getting stuck. Well, now we have a pallet of old rotten tires. You can see these tires, how cracked they were just from being out in the sun. Got a pallet of old rotten tires that we'll have to switch over. The rims are still good, but uh, yeah, we'll use these as spares. All right, guys, I just got out to the field where we put those tires on. It has been a few weeks and the pivot has gone around three or four times. So we just came out to check the ruts where the pivot tracks are and see if they look any different from the tires that we didn't change. So here's one of the ear cup tracks. And what's crazy is this, I mean, obviously this is grain. It's not even killing all the grain. So like you can see a dark spot right there. The track is actually that wide. So it's, it's this wide. It goes from here, clear to here. But the grain isn't even all tramped down like it's not even smashing it and you can see that well it's hard to see on camera the camera flattens everything out but where the ground level is where the lugs aren't it's pretty well level it's not really sinking in it is sinking where the lugs are but i mean not much of a track there especially for going around three or four times i'm pretty impressed now i'll go show you a track that isn't the Galileo ear cup wheel. Okay, here is a pivot track that is just a normal tire. And you can see, it's hard to tell. Let's see if I get the camera right down there. It's, the rut is already about five to six inches deep right here. And I can put my hand right here. It's about that far. <laughs> about five to six inches deep where the rut is. And you can see that it's it's just smashing all the grain and pushing it out. I was actually kind of surprised that that ear cup wheel wasn't smashing all the grain. 
Um, the other tire, so I just showed you one of the ear cup tracks. The other ear cup track, you almost couldn't tell that there was a track. There was so much grain still standing. But yeah, this is a non ear cup. And you can really tell how much deeper that track is already. And it's been going the same amount of time. Crazy. There's the pivot right over there. I thought I would come down here and see what the track looks like right after it watered when it was nice and wet. So here's the track. I mean, it's not really mushing down too much of the grain, but right here, you can see that you're also, you're not even really sinking into the ground, maybe an inch. So compared to that other track of the old tire, you're gonna have much shallower tracks with this with this ear cup wheel. Go check out those Galileo ear cup wheels, see if they work for you and your pivot. But I think they're pretty awesome. All right, well, I just wanted to say thanks to Galileo Wheel for bringing those out for us to test. If you wanna test some, get a hold of your pivot dealer, have them bring some out, throw them on your pivots. We're gonna give them a good test. We're gonna run around. We put them on one of our worst pivots that gets stuck the most. So we're gonna be putting out shorts and probably another long video in a, in a month or two to see how the pivots, the tracks compare to the other tires. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss those videos.